Hello, welcome. It's time for another reading from the book of Matthew. I'm Pastor Burke Owens with the St. Helena United Methodist Church in Napa Valley. Today is March the 21st. It's the fifth Sunday in Lent. There are only two more weeks till Easter. And we're continuing with our Lenten reading of the book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew. We've started out reading a chapter every two days. Soon we'll be jumping as of Holy Week to a chapter a day to be done in time of Easter. So today we're on chapter 17, the Gospel of Matthew. Six days later, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and brought them to the top of a very high mountain. He was transformed in front of them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. Moses and Elijah appeared to them talking with Jesus. Peter reacted to all of this by saying to Jesus, Lord, it's good that we're here. If you want, I'll make three shrines, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, look, a bright cloud overshadowed them. A voice from the cloud said, this is my son whom I dearly love. I am very pleased with him. Listen to him. Hearing this, the disciples fell on their faces, filled with awe. But Jesus came and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. When they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Don't tell anybody about the vision until the human one is raised from the dead. The disciples asked, Then why do the legal experts say that Elijah must first come? Jesus responded, Elijah does come first and will restore all things. In fact, I tell you that Elijah has already come, and they didn't know him. But they did to him whatever they wanted. In the same way, the human one is also going to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples realized he was talking about John the Baptist. When they came to the crowd, a man met Jesus. He knelt before him, saying, Lord, show mercy to my son. He is epileptic and suffers terribly, for he often falls into the fire or the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they couldn't heal him. Jesus answered, Your faithless and, you faithless and crooked generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Then Jesus spoke harshly to the demon, and it came out of the child who was healed from that time on. Then the disciples came to Jesus. Why couldn't we throw the demon out? Because you have little faith, he said. I assure that you that if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, go from here to there, and it will go. There will be nothing you can't do. When the disciples came together in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The human one is about to be delivered over into human hands. They will kill him, but he will be raised on the third day. And they were heartbroken. When they came to Capernaum, the people who collected the half-shekel temple tax came to Peter and said, Doesn't your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he said. But when they came into the house, Jesus spoke to Peter first. What do you think, Simon? From whom do earthly kings collect taxes, from their children or from strangers? From strangers, he said. Jesus said to him, Then the children don't have to pay. But just so we don't offend them, go to the lake, throw out a fishing line and hook, and take the first fish you catch. When you open its mouth, you will find a shekel coin. Take it and pay the tax for both of us. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17. Hope to see you soon for chapter 18. God bless you. Bye-bye.